24th court of Bhagavad Gita, the holiest of the holy books of the Hindus. Krishna says, Arjuna, I am the taste of pure water and the radiance of the sun and moon. I am the sacred word and the sound heard in air and the courage of human beings. I am the sweet fragrance in the earth and the radiance of fire. I am the life in every creature and the striving of the spiritual aspirant. I am, when people hear I am, they said, no, 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 that is egoistic. But then what the great saints have taught us is to look into us first to strengthen us to what the nature and God has given you that you, when you understand your power that you can roll like a thousand man warrior, when you understand every part of your body, then you can know the richness of what you have been moving with. And if you can polish those richness and utilize this richness and uh, dive deep in the richness and be in the richness, and automatically others get the benefit. When others get the benefit, then you have the right to move out from I am to we. This is the small difference created in our spiritual world. I, I, I am not to say. Yes, you can say I am, I am. Let the ego burn in the highest fire. Let it melt for you to not to call yourself we, but the world understands whatever you do and you move is we. Krishna says, Arjuna, I am the taste of pure water and the radiance of the sun and the moon. The taste of the pure water means melt with the nature. Yeah. The strength lies in the water. The strength lies in trying to save the rainwater. And everywhere when you see the water, if Krishna says, I am the taste of pure water, means create the water wherever you see as the purest form. The day you see a city or a village with the water flowing dirty and people using that lake and river as a toilet, then it is a devil's paradise and no gods ever dared to visit those places. That was what Krishna was trying to tell Arjuna, means to the people. If the Hindus believe and the world believes Krishna is God, then the water is God. You should treat Krishna, you should treat the water like pure water, you cannot add intoxicants, you cannot mix liquor into the water, you cannot even mix sugary, sugar and make it sugary drinks also. What Krishna said is pure, when you understand that pure water, when you convert water and you are in love with water, we melt with water, we create the lakes and the rivers as most purest and create a pedicure and manicure around the lakes and the rivers and wherever you see water. You cannot create a stagnant water, immediately you take the spade and you melt with that spade and you create the water to flow beautifully toward a pond then you are very close to nature, very close to Krishna, very close to God. That was what Krishna meant. It. I am the taste of pure water. Can you drink that stagnant water? You can drink only the water is so pure. So create that beauty. And once you create, you can see the truth and you are the truth. Uh, once you make the water so clean everywhere, in every part of the land, in every human beings, in every dwellings, that is the first time you can see no thing is disrupted, no nothing is dislocated. You can see all his inner flows. When his inner is disrupted, dislocated, it is called disease. Disease moves in. 
and the radiance of the sun and the moon. Once you know the purity of the water, you can look at the beautiful sun and convert the sun. Open your shirt, open your dress and then welcome the sun. The sun got us. Early morning you get up and do your Surya Nam Namaskar by stretching open, allowing the sun to bathe you. How do you bathe? By working very hard in the sun. Light early birds catches the best prey. Early morning and you see early morning you are sweating in the sweatness of that bath you had one of the best baths not the tap water bath pure water and the radiance of the sun and then you see the sun you know it is kattal in the bulletin tamasoba jodirgam you can see from darkness to light that even during the day when the sun gives the light you can convert that into any other time night time also but save it in the panels solar panels convert solar panels and then you can enjoy the moon i am the sacred word and the sound heard in the air yes any sound in the Kannada there's a song Kokile is a bird Cuckoo How beautifully it sings Wow And can you dissect Can you take a dictionary to find out What was the song all about I am the sacred word And the sound heard in the air Whatever sound Whether it is a sound from the mother's mouth Or the father's mouth or from the wives of the husbands or from the children take it as a sacred word it is a gospel of truth you do not have to dissect it up to find out whether it is good or bad the moment you decide it's good or bad you are trying to create a dislocation and in that creation you are deceased and the courage of the human beings when you have the pure air when you understand the sunlight and the rainwater harvesting <laughs> courage comes of its own you are courage you your name is courage and that's why krishna says courage of the human i am the sweet fragrance in the earth and the radiance of the fire sweet fragrance when you sweat only fragrances your body has got a fragrance because the body is full of beautiful food and in the beautiful food when the sweat comes out it's fragrance but nothing else radiance of the fire when you look at somebody else some you look at somebody or don't even have to look the way you walk the eye has fire in the eye it is not dead because you are always walking you made it courageous you took the purest water when you have the whole body house is clean every pipeline is clean only fire you see fire and everybody sees you they melt seeing you when they can melt we can make varieties of ornaments when you are like a stone dead then it is difficult i am the life in every creature and the striving of the spiritual aspirant and life yeah you give life when you practice i am i am i am automatically when you become so powerful it is spirit in spirit you become spiritual and when you become spiritual all people becomes aspirants following you and then from i we become we nanu indu now 